So today we got something a little different. I don't think I've ever reacted to any uh, Bleach stuff. Maybe some uh, uh, s songs. But we got I'm Kevin's Why Ichigo is him and Aizen got violated. She and Sofan slid through and had a nigga at sword point. Yo ass better not move. That's when you're the Richie and Sofan slid through and had a nigga at sword point. Yo ass better not move a little nigga. Unless you want to get pieced up. Look at Aizen's face. He was like. Boy, if you don't get your squiggly dick in the head. <laughs> <laughs> squiggly diggly is crazy. First yeah. things first, before we get into the absolute ass beating Ichigo gave Aizen, what? we gotta talk about how Aizen pulled up and embarrassed everybody. So Aizen spun a block on Renji and Rukia and was like, all right, my nigga, you better let go of that girl before I put my hands on you. Renji was like, oh, nah, and jumps back. But the moment he moved, Aizen was like, I done told your ass and sliced his arm. Renji couldn't yeah. let that slide, so he jumped in the air and called out Zabimaru. And then Aizen was like, get that weak ass shit out of here. Is that the best you can do? But Renji said, hold on, I'm not done yet. Goes for another attack and Aizen blocked that shit with his bare knuckles. I ain't gonna lie to you. Getting mixed by a nigga who looked like he work at Geek Squad. I ain't gonna lie to you. I respect the fact that they gave an anime a, a manners. They gave him glasses. And not even like cool glasses. That boy really needs those to read. Respectable. And he's still chopping shit down. I already know. It's bare knuckles. If a nigga ever blocks my attack with his bare knuckles, you won. Bro, I'm clearly the side character. So then Aizen rips it in half, and then Renji spontaneously combusts. Bro got handled so disrespectfully that they didn't want to animate it. Alright, my nigga, I'll give you ass one more chance. Let the girl go. If you think I'm about to fumble this baddie, you're out of your damn mind. Well, too bad. At this point, it was GG's. Aizen raised his blade and it was about to eviscerate this dude. But hold on, bro. You hear that fire-ass theme song? Uh -oh. oh man, uh -oh, he the has a Damn, you was getting your ass beat, huh? Hey, bro, we can really jump this nigga for real. Renji stabs his blade into the ground, and the broken pieces started floating and went straight for Aizen. And that's when Ichigo was like, oh yeah, I'm about to whoop his ass. Hey, y'all hear that theme song? That shit bumping, ain't it? Ichigo went for a killing blow and then... Oh, hell no. What the fuck? Bro, this nigga really just stopped the main character's theme song with one finger. Aizen then put one finger on the blade. You gonna stop a blade with a finger is crazy, nigga. Blade and each go spontaneously got sliced up. Hold on, what? Reggie, I ain't feel about your bitch ass. Damn, them boys is laid out. Aizen walks Damn. over to Ruka and was like, "Hi, right, we finna dip now, shorty. Grabs the collar and starts walking her like a dog. Straight over to Ichigo. Right when he got there, this overgrown fox put up and Aizen looked back and was like, Hmm? Yo, he tried to hit him, but he bare knuckled a sword for the third time today. He didn't take that too kindly and swung a super fist at bro. Aizen simply dodged it and stares at him like, This nigga is trash. <laughs> Fox then uses his bankai and Aizen smiles. You're done, buddy. Put that nigga in a box and he was done for. So he walks Rukia like a dog again, then proceeds to use wood style jutsu and sticks his hand straight through her chest. Oh, you would think he just no. killed her. Nah, he simply just ran her pockets. Oh, but that's when Aizen picks her up and told Gein and kill her. Right when he's about to, that dog Byakuya spun the block and saved her. But he ain't come alone. The gang put up with an aerial attack and shot a Shidori at him. That's when I don't even know who any of these niggas are, but I already don't like Aizen. I think I'm pretty sure I don't like this nigga, and I and I want niggas to spin on him. Okay. You're the reaching so far slid through and had a nigga at sword point. Your ass better not move a little nigga unless you want to get pieced up. Look at Aizen's face. He was like. Peace him up, nigga. He's been piecing you. Peace him up. You don't give him an ultimate. Peace him up. If you don't get your squiggly dick in the head. After this, the whole hood pulled up. It was a oh, 1v3. But that don't mean shit to Aizen. All right, I'm going to catch y'all boys later. He then summons the Bifrost for him and his homies. And then they just start floating up. But Aizen was like, hold on, the hose is watching. He must have had a can of Eco Styling Gel in his pocket. Because how the fuck you slick your hair back like that? Oh, he a whole different. But that's not the last time he's going to see Oh, the glow up crazy. The glow up crazy. He a whole different man. Aizen. So later on, Aizen is chilling, terrorizing the soul society. Nah, that's the, when you get a fresh new fade, when you come right up out the barber shop, he got that swag on him. Oh, he finna put belt to ass. But that's when Ichigo comes through the nether portal and spams gets at him. But those attacks are simply not good enough, bro. He didn't have to move an inch. His barrier stopped every attack. Then Aizen deadass told a nigga to try again. Oh, but this time he just hollow form. So he did, but Aizen just moves out the way. So Ichigo starts spamming it again. He's right behind me, isn't he? Dead ass. At this point, Aizen is telling Ichigo how much of a bitch he is. So he appears in front of Ichigo and touches his chest. 
Aizen was like, my nigga, you're not him. So then all the other captains pulled up because they seen Ichigo couldn't handle the amount of verbal abuse he was taking. So now it's Aizen versus the captains. Trunks dashes in and Aizen easily blocks it. Another captain went for a stink attack and Aizen easily blocks that too. And the fact that this nigga was like, I commend you for having the wisdom to not give me a faith of a one-on-one. -on -one. So then Trunks started giving Aizen a whole speech. The only time a captain ever swings a sword is when they have to. So when it comes to being a captain, don't think you know what you're talking about. Cause really it's all about perspective. The fuck up. Stop all this yapping and let's box. So then Trunks activated his Bankai and now it's time to get active. Not only did Trunks go for an attack, the whole gang was going in too. But all the attacks they were throwing was either getting dodged or blocked. And Aizen came out of that unscathed. You really thought because you had me outnumbered you can beat me? Think again. Uh -huh. He then went on a spree of murking niggas. Overgrown Fox? Say goodbye. Blondie? Say goodbye. Doesn't know what a comb is? Facts. Say goodbye. Facts. Schoolgirl? Say goodbye. He really just solo squatted all of them. Sent them all back to the lobby. So then Soy... One thing I learned is if you niggas pull up 30 deep, if y'all pull up too deep and there's one person, y'all niggas is finna get reverse jump. That's one thing I've learned. That's one thing I've learned. Spawn put up with his shadow clones and ended up hitting him with her technique which should be a guaranteed death but aizen was like get that weak shit on somewhere but that's when he got stabbed in the back then trunks dashes in again and i was like bro ain't aizen just gonna block that but turns out shinji was in the cut using his inverted technique so trunks ended up stabbing aizen right in the chest Ooh, nice teamwork <laughs> at what time did you think that i wasn't using my kyokasui gets it this whole time they was jumping a little girl oh nah so they try to go after the real Aizen, but we all know how that's gonna go. One body, two body, three body, four. How many bodies are at my door? This nigga just body four captains with ease. So after that absolute evisceration, Disrespect. it's time that the head captain Yamamoto gets involved. So he dashes towards Aizen. He vanished and the the, ob the obligatory old nigga in anime. This nigga, this nigga the master. He the seafood. Okay. Then gets that right he in the, the stomach. But that was all according to plan. Yamamoto that did that to make sure he ain't gonna run nowhere. Then all of a sudden, this thing appeared behind Yamamoto. He swung his blade, but that nigga bare knuckled that shit. And he gets sent across the map. But long story short, Yamamoto ran that nigga's fade. Then he squared up with Aizen. But that oh, was all a part of Aizen's plan. The flames that were surrounding Epic Beard. And them seem to have yeah. vanished without anyone knowing. That's because Aizen made that thing Yamamoto was fighting consume his flames. And then it was GG's. Aizen sat there and clapped for his performance. He walks down to Yamamoto and was about to kill him. But that's when Yamamoto grabbed his legs and was like, nigga, you got me fucked up. He was a nuke of his own. Get it. Luckily, Aizen skedaddled on out of there. But that's when Ichigo put up and shot a Getsuka at him. And it actually hit him. Ichigo was like, hold on, I ain't done yet. Shot another Getsuka at him. Get Aizen teleports behind him and was like, damn, bro, you fucked up the drip. They ended up clashing swords. And it turns out this nigga can heal himself. Because he revealed that he installed hacks into his body. Not much time after. Aizen evolves into the ultimate Pokemon. So he ended up getting jumped by Kisuke, Yodorichi, and Ichigo's pops. But he ran all their phase with efficiency. But that ultimate evolution was only the first half. That was just a mere cocoon concealing his fully dripped out power level. I got purple Bro eyes popped now. his collar and grew out 8 inches. He off the Zion now. Yeah, you see his eyes purple. He off that goodie, you feel me? Of air. Ichigo pretty much got put into the hyperbolic time chamber to train for three months. During that time Ichigo was training, Aizen evolved once again. Oh, and look at that. It's about time for Ichigo to spin the block. This nigga spun the block, dripped out. I don't know who's his stylist, but he put that shit Swag. on. Aizen, you finna go box away from my hood. Sauce. Nonsense. You not strong enough for that request, little bro. Man, shut your bitch ass. Yo, he palmed that nigga's face and then slammed him into the ground. So then Aizen teleports by Ichigo and the clash of their swords destroyed the entire mountain. So then Aizen ran in and Ichigo was blocking every attack. One Each hand. attack he blocked is another mountain destroyed. So then Aizen just started yapping. He was just saying how he can body Ichigo at any given time. He went for an attack. You hear his theme song playing too. Caught your shit. Oh, no, no. This, this, this can't be. You remember that time you stopped my theme song? This is my get back, bitch. Oh, gang, they don't fold them gray, nigga. Yeah, you thought I was gonna come back with the mullet and I wasn't finna put hands on you? Oh, it's up. So Aizen jumps back and spawns a big ass rectangle on Ichigo. And do you help? see his face? 
A nigga with no emotions is always the most dangerous. All he did was swipe his hand and the entire thing shattered. And he goes like, let me show you real power. Zoomed over towards him and cut him. Eisen instantly ran away. Oh. Nigga don't even got shoes on. All that did was piss him off even more. He started evolving once again into some ugly ass creature. He proceeds to shoot a tail beast bomb directly at Ichigo. The blast was so big that the shockwave made it back to the city. Alright, Frieza, how many forms do you got? Damn. And Ichigo just standing there. Aizen comes through and grabs him by his neck. I'm the only one to surpass Soul Reapers and Hollows. I don't care if you're the main character. I am the true winner. Ichigo Kurosaki. Is that so? Huh? Get off of me, hoe ass nigga. A simple swing of the sword caused that whole shockwave. Ichigo said, hold on, let me show you what a real evolution looks like. That nigga got a swastika uh, handle? I guess the swastika sign is actually in, uh, what is it, a, a Hindu or uh, Indian? It's a, it's, a, it's a sign of peace and Adolf just took it and twisted it. So. If Ichigo said, hold on, let me show you what a real evolution looks like. He upgraded from Black Forces to Damn. Black Tims. Bro, even threw the shiesty on the reaction. Nigga look like Madra, don't he? A little bit? Am I bugging? Measure. He raised his arm and it was now GG's. The attack was so strong that it changed the filter. This nigga is broken. Slice. The crazy part is, using this attack takes away all his soul reaper powers. And guess what? Aizen is still standing. But then Kisuke pulled up and explained that Ichigo body him so bad that his own power is saying, hell nah nigga, you're no longer him. <laughs> so he ended up getting sealed. But at the end of the day, Ichigo did spin the block and update on Aizen. All I'm saying is, I better see Aizen turn up in this new season. Man, you got put in a backwood, bro, for surely, man.